you want me to respect your beliefs? Well, then respect mine. I know that's a pretty obvious statement up front, you know, everyone respects everyone. But in reality, that isn't how it works in this world right now. We have it where certain people with certain faiths and ideologies oppress others. And a good example of this is the gay marriage issue. But another one is where extremist Christians are rebelling against the Muslims who are migrating into this country due to certain recent historical events. But we can go through the ages and see plenty of examples of this religious intolerance towards other beliefs. And it's not just, you know, Christians. It is Muslims. It's... Hindus, if we look at India, we see it there. And I don't want to make this into a Christian bashing thing, but as an American, I can only really speak for the thing I see most prevalently, which is Christians. And a very important caveat to make here is that I know that quite a few Christians, and in fact the majority of them, are moderate. They're more accepting. They may not personally approve of certain things or activities, but they're not going to sit there and try to cram it down everyone's throat that they're going to hell or that they can't do this or else. But this is really made because those moderate Christians don't get much attention. It's the extremists who get all of the attention, the ones who with the big voice and incredibly unbelievable opinions at times, because that's that's what sells the news, so they get printed. The moderates who are saying, I may not approve of this personally, but don't see the reason why the government's involved or something to that effect. They are not printed in the news. No one hears about them, maybe once in a while, but for the most part, it's the fire and brimstone intolerant preachers who everyone knows about. And this is to them and those people who listen to their ideals. To put it very, very simply, you can't have it both ways, wherein your beliefs are right and everyone else is wrong because there's no proof. You can't sit there and tell me that every other religion in the world is wrong and yours is right and make it stick. Thus, your belief is just one of many. Even if you may have the majority, that does not make yours more right. At least not in a matter of faith. You can't tell me that because you have more numbers that the faith of someone else is irrelevant. But I don't care what beliefs you have, personally. If you believe in the most fundamentalist Christian ideals, I may not like you or what you believe, but as long as you aren't treading upon other people's basic freedoms because of your ideology, I can't really say anything bad about you beyond I don't like what you believe. It is when you go against other people in such a way where you're legislating rights away from people or you're talking about killing people because they have a different faith. That is where I draw a line and where you should draw a line too, where people in faiths, whether it is Muslims who have problems with this right now with radical extremists or Christians who have problems of their own with people who come out against anything but Christian ideals, where, well, the moderates need to speak up. I'm not saying that there's no moderates speaking out or that everyone's just allowing this to happen. What I'm saying is that no one should be allowing this to happen. If you are a moderate and you hear a preacher talking about how gay people aren't human or how they're abominations, instead of saying nothing, if that is your current choice, maybe you should say, I don't agree with that or why, or say something. You know, if your preacher is one of those people who's saying those extremist things and hateful things, don't sit there and go, amen or hallelujah. At least say nothing. At least silently protest if you can't do anything else. I'm not going to sit there and say you have to storm the beachheads and take him down. If you can't protest, then at least be silent. Don't, don't agree with it to fit in. And I'm not saying that people aren't doing this or that they're all spineless or anything. Don't misunderstand me. What I am saying is that this, this is a thing that needs to happen. And if you aren't doing it, you should be doing it. And if you are, congratulations. This is what I'm talking about. Stand up for people's rights and their equalities. You don't have to like what other people do. That's, that's fine. They are allowed and free to do this. They are not allowed to go to government and legislate away my rights because they don't like them. And if you hear someone advocating this, or if you are advocating this, something should be done to put a stop to it, or at least tell them that that isn't right. Maybe you shouldn't try to put a stop to them, because everybody has their freedom of speech, but you should at least let them know that there are people who disagree, and that their ideas are being challenged, because that's where change comes from. And in essence, disregarding everything else I've said just about, this is about change, changing the way people think that are stuck in the past with their bigotries and their small thinking. This is about changing and tolerating. And I can't put it any simpler than that. Just something to think about.